Hi ladies, happy Friday. Welcome to the end of your week. And I am so excited to share with you as we cap out our week on goal setting and bookings about some various ways to party that might be um, out of the box or something that you haven't thought of um, versus our traditional living room kind of party, which is definitely our most popular, but there, that might not always work. So I wanna give you some other ideas of some various ways that you can do your parties. As you know, I mentioned earlier this week, face-to-face -face parties are key. When you are able to build that relationship, to get to know them, to see all those nonverbal cues, to see their excitement over the products, for them to touch and feel, um, to have their friends next to them, encouraging them on what, what they would love and why it would be good for them to use, those are all things that you get from having women together. So that is always my goal when I'm booking my parties. So typically, when we th thought of home parties in the past, we thought of them in the living room, and those are great, but those aren't always, we have to be flexible, we have to be out of the box, people are busy, um, maybe they don't wanna clean, they don't want, their, their home is too small, they, they feel like for their friends, so you wanna have lots of other ways to make your parties simple, easy, and fun, but still to get that face-to-face -face time with, with those women. So a couple ideas of things that I have tried that have worked really well, and I'm gonna be referring to my notes so I don't forget any of them, is restaurant parties. Those are great. Lots of restaurants have rooms in the back, if not, even pushing some tables together, and typically, as long as you order some food, even appetizers or desserts or coffee, they're fine with it, and it's a great way for women to come together, to enjoy being together, and not to have to worry about cleaning their home. And it's also great because people that are at the restaurant are gonna see you, they're gonna see the bags, they're gonna see all of you having fun, having this fun party, and you might get some other customers or some interest from other people seeing you out and about with your products as well, okay? So that's one idea, patio parties. I know our Panera has a patio, lots of coffee shops have patio parties, um, especially for the summer, pool parties. Those are great sit out by the pool, get those lawn chairs, get some fun pool snacks, make it easy and fun. You could even have it with the kids. They're having the pool, you are over. You have the bag set up so the kids have somewhere to go, the moms can enjoy checking out the bags. Another idea is at the park. I did this during, um, during the school year with moms with kids that have, have younger kids, aren't in school yet. We met at the park, I set everything up on a picnic table, brought some fun um, snacks for the mom, but some little ice pops for the kids, and the kids played at the park, and the moms got to sit around and chat, check out the bags, and it was a great way for, for them to be able to not take any other any time out of their schedule, and to be able to get together and their friends to have, their kids to have friends to play with as well. Um, we have lots of our customers and hostesses whose children are in sports. So meeting at the soccer field, at the baseball field, during practice, um, you could call those trunk shows. You could pop your trunk, have your products set up right there, or you could pack them in your large utility totes and bring them to the bleachers and have all the ladies sit around and pass around the product. It's not taking any more time out of their schedule, and it's a great way to really enjoy, get to know the other moms of um, those on your team, if it's your child in sports, or for your hostess to get to know those ladies as well. They love it. Um, it's a great time to really show off our spirit collection and those items with, our, with the sports moms. Um, some other ideas once school starts as well is coffee shop, a coffee shop party. So drop the kids off at school and then all the moms come right over. So maybe you drop off the kids at eight, meet at the coffee shop at 8.15 or 8.30. They're not having to go back home, go back out. They can get their morning coffee, chat with their friends, see all the products, have your party that way. With teachers, I know a lot of teachers, they don't necessarily wanna go home and then go back out, so you could have a happy hour. So maybe meet at four, from four to six, have a happy hour at a restaurant. They can leave right from school, go have the party, and then go home for the evening. Um, so those are just some different ideas that I've done. There's lots of other ideas out there, but some different ways that you could party that aren't necessarily our traditional living room setting, but really make it simple, easy, and fun, and flexible, and I've had great success with hostesses loving those kind of parties. Now, if your hostess still wants to have a catalog or online party and doesn't wanna, um, isn't able to have those ladies get together, or maybe they live out of the area or out of state, 
you still want to make them as personal as possible. So I've really utilized videos that I will post to the Facebook event um, or that I can send out in an email to the contacts. But having them, being able for them to put a face with a name with you, that you are their personal 31 consultant, you wanna be their 31 girl, that they get to see you, they hear your voice, it makes a big difference in building that relationship if you can't be with them in person. I've also had some ladies out of town and I'll encourage them, still get all your friends together, especially my um, customers that have, have products in the past, they have some things to show. And I will Skype or I'll FaceTime, I can show them the monthly special, I can answer questions, and I'm still able to have that face-to-face -face as much as possible with them that way. So lots of different ideas. Really think about what fits your personality. Step out of your, out, out of your comfort zone and your box, try some new things, and have fun this summer partying with 31. It's been a great week, ladies, and I'm excited for us to continue on with the series.